Hello, so here we are uh, with the Arisen functions in C. Yeah. So basically, uh, in C, there are two ways of passing arrays as arguments to the functions and they are sending the entire, that is the whole array as an argument or sending the individual elements as the argument. So here, let us deal with an example program. So in this program, we can see the main function which has an integer a of 5, that is an array which uh, can store 5 elements and integer type of i and then void display. Uh, which is the function which we are going to write the body uh, the body later clear screen printf enter the elements here uh, in this part we are taking those five elements by using the for loop and storing it in the uh, array a and then we are calling the function display function uh, by passing the whole array a as an argument so when the function has been called the we know that here this a is nothing but the actual parameter so this parameter will be acted as I mean the values will be taken by the formal parameters over here and this void display will be uh, uh, executed so here int j in this body uh, elements entered and then this will be printed and then as soon as that the elements whatever we have entered over here will be displayed over here when this function has been called so this is how we pass the entire array as an argument in the second example we can see that after taking the elements and entering the elements in this particular thing we are passing in the display that is a calling the function we are passing a of 0 a of uh, 2 like that so in this thing we are we are individually we are uh, uh, taking the elements if you can see here in the previous for loop it's been 5 here but here in this for loop it's n so basically uh, there we have we already took an array of 5 and we have I mean the size is 5 in both of the programs but the thing is that there we have uh, taken all the 5 elements at once and then we are sending the whole array as an argument but in this uh, program what are we doing is since the n values or I mean it, it can store up to 5 size 5 uh, if you if we want to uh, attempt that is if we want to enter only two elements into the array so it is our wish so the maximum value is of the array is five but according to our uh, wish in this program we are entering only two elements into the array so here that is the reason we've put n here and then we I am I'm passing a of zero and a of two suppose if I have entered three elements that is a of 0 a of 1 and a of 2 but I want to display only a of 0 and a of 2 so like this I can send the message and here in place of a of 0 and a of 2 since this is of integer type it will take index and int y and the elements will be printed over here when the function has been called so this is how uh, we pass the arrays uh, as the arguments uh, uh, in the function call yeah so calling a function basically while creating a c function you have a i mean you give the definition of what the function has to do that is the body of the function the lines that we write inside the body of the function so to use this function as i said we have to call the, that function in order to perform that particular task so whenever a program will call a function the program control is transferred to called function so as we have seen here the void display function is what we have created so in order to uh, the uh, the lines that is written inside the body to be displayed or to be executed we have to call this function by using like this function call so that is what we have do, did so uh, a, a call function performs a defined task and when its return statement is executed or when its function ending closes brace is reached it returns to the con program control back to the main program so when this display function, if we have any bits of codes over here after display, so basically the cursor that is it'll, after this display has been come, it will come here and this will get executed. After the closing braces, it goes back here and if there's any lines of code after display function here, it will be executed or else it will come to get ch and then it will close the program and then you'll have the output on your screen. So to call a function you simply need to pass the required parameters along with the function name and if the function returns a value then you can store the return value as we have seen function name and the arguments as such. Here you can see that it is uh, we, uh, we have taken small example int a is equals to 10 b is equals to 5 and c 
int product of int x comma int comma int y so this is about the function prototype so this function prototype should be written above main actually if you're writing if uh, if you are writing the uh, function after the main or something and then in int main function the main function um, c is equals to product of a comma b so here the uh, function we have uh, defined is the or created is the product function which is nothing but int product of int x comma y return x into y we're just uh, multiplying the x and y values and returning it to the main function so that that particular thing will be stored in c so when the main block will be executed first this will be called so this will the cursor will automatically come here and then it will do x x into y since we have given 10 into 5 already it will do 5 into 10 and it will return the value 50 here so here when the printf statement comes c will become 50 return 0 and then when com co our cursor comes out of this thing the output will be a c is equal uh, yeah 50 the value will be 50 so like this uh, function prototype main function function call and function definition you have the uh, uh, what are the brief description about what uh, these are so int is the written type and int x and int y the function arguments here int is always the written type and there are no arguments hence the void uh, curly braces mark the start and end of the main function as we know and product of a comma b are global variables and the function is passed here the values written by the function assigned to the variable so this function definition basically constitutes of what function we uh, we want so the function is to do the multiplication of the product of two numbers and that is what we've written here so this is how you call a function and write a function body thank you